Today on International Day of Zero Tolerance for Female Genital Mutilation, our commitment to fighting against FGM and helping survivors is as strong as ever. Globally, it is estimated that at least 200 million girls and women alive today have undergone some form of FGM. And the COVID-19 pandemic has increased the risk for FGM, with the UN predicting that an additional 2 million girls will be subjected to the practice in the next 10 years. There is no better time than right now to join the fight in ending this violation of girls' and women's health and human rights. We must continue to unite and act, not only to end FGM, but also continue to find ways to support girls and women who've undergone the practice. Ending FGM is a global issue, but often the work starts right at home on a community level. We're adamant about equipping healthcare providers, first responders, and educators with the information and skills to recognize FGM and provide high quality medical care and counseling to girls and women who have been subjected to the practice. Today on International Day of Zero Tolerance, we ask you to help take action to eliminate FGM. Spread the word and this message. Share it with everyone. Join us on our website at www.gwpfnd.org to learn more about our programs and resources that we have available. And if you can, please donate. A little goes a long way. We are grateful for your support and for joining us in this fight against female genital mutilation. We will continue to work toward a future in which all women and girls are afforded enjoyment of their human rights.